Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be looking at a bunch of prefabs. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I will be adding the names of the people that create these. Also I've noticed they actually show the person that made them in Prefabulator when you load the file to prefab. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. All right, guys, so we are going to start off here. We have an anvil, and I believe this will actually heat up a blade if you have one. So I don't have a blade. I have a key. Let's just see. I don't know if keys even get heated up. Um, so, yeah, if you want to do a forge, this is what you'll be spawning in right here. Um, and then this is what you actually get. So, yeah, keys, I guess, don't heat up. But, yeah, that is the first one. And yeah, great idea. I love it. Also, by the way, I don't want to skip over this. These uh, things here. I don't know how you did this or what this is, but it's it, it's awesome. Next up, we have what is a forge. I guess it the file might be missing the coal bed. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I also have problems with spawning in coal beds, so I couldn't put one for demonstration. But, yeah, this is supposed to be a forge. Just put a coal bed there, and then, yeah, if you're doing a, a cave, like say you have a personal server and you're doing cave stuff, then that would be pretty cool. All right, next up we have a shrine pond here. It's a pond that you would put in, like, town or something. Don't mind the hammer. And when you spawn it in, you'll get that whole thing right there. Um, but what the... Uh, what is it? Pink, I believe, is the one that made this. He has a wall behind it, so yeah, and then it's at ground level like this. So it's supposed to be a pond. Uh, but yeah, really cool build, and I love it. Moving on from that, we have another quality of life piece. You know, it's not a big building, it's nothing... I'm sure this is a little complex, but it's not super complex like some of this stuff is. Um, but yeah, we got some, uh, ruin walls and you'd be surprised how much a bunch of these can change a whole area's like aura, you know, next up we have a, uh, MRK forge. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be Mark or what. I don't know what MRK stands for, honestly, but the, all the trials, the pieces that they have are the MRK stuff. So you'll see they have the trial stuff. And that's what they use. This is how it looks like uh, in the pictures. That is how it will spawn in. So it'll probably be even higher than that. But that whole thing will just, you'll shove underground. All right, next up we have this MRK Forge that is a beta. I haven't seen a final version, but I honestly like this one a little bit more than that. Not, not more. Um, this one's like great for like a dark theme. This one's great for, like, say you're getting an in-town, like, industrial look. And then this one is more of a, um, I guess, like, dungeon look, you know. So this is something that would fit closer to what we have in town, but a little bit more industrial and maybe futuristic because of the floating thing. Um, not better, just they have a different thing. That is what you'll spawn in. And so you'll have this whole thing. It looks like you've got those anvils in there. I don't know what's in there. Um, kind of looks like anvils. Those might be anvils. I don't know. You got something in there. Yeah, really cool forge. And yeah. All right, here we have what is like a material shelf. So, um, yeah. Uh, what? Huh? Hello? Um, so you have the different shelves. There are downloads for just specific shelves. Um, I don't know if you get the middle one with it, but there's a, a left one and a right one. Um, and then there's the full thing, right? So, yeah. Moving on from that, we have a simple, uh, like, kind of like a forge. Um, it'll be like the lava so that you can heat up your blades. If you're going for more of like a out in the nature type of look it's pretty cool you know they got the rocks and you know if you throw this out in the middle of the forest say you're doing a forest forge or blacksmith that would be pretty sick 
Alright guys, so lastly we have this arena here. Um, I'm assuming that tree's supposed to be lower. It's just things kind of stopped moving at some point. That always happens with these bigger structures. You'll notice certain parts stop moving. This door is going up by itself. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh. Yeah, um... I don't know if that's the game or me, but... Get in there. There we go. So yeah, this is an arena that, uh... It's honestly, it's pretty cool. It's like a, a short range. It kind of reminds me of the Gulag in Modern Warfare. But in here, you know, not in Modern Warfare. So yeah, this would be pretty cool. You know, maybe have bow fights, sword fights, whatever. A little bit of both. Axes. Maybe get a bunch of kunai. I know this would be awesome for the huge kunai fight. Um, but yeah, no. This is a pretty cool thing going on in here. And then up top, I don't know if you saw that. Let's just go ahead and get this open. Huh? And... Oop, oop, oop. Teleport, where are you? Boom. Alright. I don't like walking through those doors. They're pretty bad. Um, I mean, they're not bad. I just dislike them. And then up here you have a viewing area. So, say you're having a whole group of people. You can grab these tomatoes and throw them at them. Oops. Well, actually throw them, you know? Like, boom. I'm not very good at throwing, apparently. So, yeah. That's, that's cool. When you're, you're booing them, like, boo. You're gonna lose. So yeah, this is this is a pretty cool uh, build here. I really like it, and uh, yeah, I really hope to see more of these. I like this thing in the middle here. I don't know if I can get to that. Also, I like the barrels. The barrels kind of add those extra little things. Can you get? Oh no, you can't. Can you get on top of there? Hey, you can. Cool. So if you want to hop up here real quick, you can. Hello. I like the windows. They use the, the tool rack, I believe. Pretty sure that's what it is. So, yeah. Uh, definitely check these builds out. I think they are pretty awesome. They put a lot of effort into them. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully these help you guys out. I hope to do more of these in the future. Really like what I'm seeing. We are going to be getting it on the quest, uh, Township Tale. And so when that happens, I will be seeing if you can still do this on the quest because if you can do it without the computer to like watch what you're doing uh it's not cross play so i you might not be able to but if you can that would be awesome but we'll see um we'll see when the quest comes by how things go what happens with that how the servers work i would assume they would work pretty similar maybe a little different maybe no private servers um, or maybe they're only local, I'm not sure. All of these will be available on the Discord. And um, I'll also, if you guys want to join the ATT Builders, I'll leave that link in the description as well. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully these things uh, make you a little bit excited to get the game and try it out. Maybe get some prefabulator. Um... Yeah, I'll also link that in the description so that you guys can download that. Uh, there's a few ways to get it. You can usually just Google it. Go to the Township Tale Wiki and then go to the link they have there. But I'll try and add it as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys will add some of these builds so that we can see them, review them, and then share them with everyone. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. So... Don't forget to check out these builds in the Discord. You guys can join the Discord. You can find those downloads in the channel. And then, uh, yeah. But, anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.